Hey guys, RC here back with Climbing the Ladder. Uh, just some information because we're still early January, so I'm not ready to come back for games yet. But, got some interesting news. So we've made a couple of transfers. We've gotten some guys in that were supposed to join us on the first of the month. Uh, we, did, uh, we did sign a striker, and he immediately got hurt starting to get jaded we haven't done anything yet my god um anyway um this is the news i got an email that uh the club was happy with our progress and lo and behold we had we had uh structured our debt we had taken a loan out and then i just got this that we have uh, exited the administration process a deal was struck with creditors and new president jorgen lundgren his plans to run the crack, uh, uh, club were approved, and we are now in a position to refuse and negotiate transfer offers again. So, not exactly sure how or why that happened. Um, what's the old saying? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, Kevin Laporte uh, is our new goalkeeper. Uh, so, he got hurt, so he's out for a while. We just signed him on a free from Anderlecht. Um, he was, he was out of the game. He actually had a really good game, a clean sheet in his first match and, uh, then, uh, fractured his back. Um, yeah, so he's out for a while. So I may have to look at another keeper. I, I don't even know who we've got, uh, cause we moved our starting keeper, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bertrand. Bertrand's a new uh, a new signing as well, I believe. No, he came up from from our uh, our lower club. That's right. So he's probably I'll, I'll probably let him start. Yeah, I'll probably let him start, and we'll just go with that. Um, so anyway, wanted to let you guys know uh, if we take a look at finances. I mean, they're still pretty shit. Um, I have adjusted this a little bit. I dropped our, you know, we had sold a couple of players. This was a couple of hundred, you know, 150,000 or so. I dropped it out because we're just signing free players right now because uh, I need to get this under control. We have dropped it a good bit. We're down to 575,000. Uh, again, we've got offers. Uh, oh, our team captain, newly appointed team captain at that, our veteran midfielder. Who's been playing well? Yeah, he came in and uh, was bit. You know, he was very concerned about the club's financial situation. I just got hired, dude, and that's what I told him. I said, "We've just got to trust the board to fix this." There's nothing I can do. You know, I said I may have to sell a couple of players, and then he got pissed off about selling players because he goes, "Well, I could weaken our team." And I'm like, "Well, what do you want? We either got to sell players or quit worrying about the financial situation." And then he got pissed off and said, "I hadn't heard the end of it." And then uh, two days later, we had a, uh, the team had a called a meeting with me, and it was the same thing. And I got about half the players on my side. He had about half the players on his side. I blew up on him and I just basically told him to go to hell and uh, put him on the uh, immediately transfer list. Uh, we did ask for, I asked for 525,000 and I think they took, does it tell me? Oh, I, I, yeah, I think they negotiated it down to 400,000. Um, yeah. Oh my God. So he's going to join, uh, Lech Poznati on February 1st. Well, uh, let's see. We rejected that one. That's a free transfer. God damn it. Sorry about that. My old headphones. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but Connor Burke's leaving for 2.7, and he is making 64000 a month. So that's going to help out a lot. And he joins them. Yeah. 
Yeah, we asked. Yeah. So we got 2.7. Transfer activity. All right. Well, anyway, I think he's looking at contracts right now. But that's where we're at. So we're out of administration. So I am digging into uh, the transfer. Uh, we did play a friendly uh, against uh, PSG's second team. We beat them 5 0. Uh, Legrand with a goal, Zimmer with a goal, Connor Burke. We went ahead and registered him. Uh, he scored a hat trick and then immediately got a, a contract offer from somebody. Uh, we're playing another team. These are just to basically keep match fit during the winter break. And also, we're able to, we were able to generate a little bit of income. So uh, that's going to be a little helpful. But we'll see you guys at the end of the month. We'll go over all the transfers. And uh, we will see you then. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so I came back a little early just to show you guys that we had gotten out of administration. So that was, quote, unquote, easier than I expected. Uh, but we're still pretty crap, and we've got a lot of problems. So after the last episode with the loss, we uh, we ended up beating Chambly Thel 1-0. Uh, Christian Zimmer scored the game winner in the final minute. Uh, we beat PSG's second team 5-0, and we beat uh, Claire Fontaine 3-1 uh, with some goals there. Then we lost a pair of games to Angers and Nîmes Olympique 1-0 uh, apiece. Gave up an 80th minute goal and a 73rd minute goal. Then we had a 1-1 draw with Stade Lavoie. Uh, let's see, it's Lavalois. I'm actually pretty good with French names since I have a French name. Uh, and then uh, Grenoble Foot 38. Uh, Connor Burke scored a penalty in the 45th minute. We gave up a penalty in the 86th minute as an equalizer. Uh, Connor Burke had scored there as well. So the problem is, Connor Burke's been scoring our goals, and now he's out <laughs> as we come back for Le Mans and Toulouse today. So, where are we at in the competition? Well, we're way down towards the bottom. We're still in 16th position. We're three points uh, with uh, with a couple of losses, but we are plus 10 on goal differential. So, the fact that we were able to keep those losses tight at a 1-0 loss uh, really helped us out there. And, you know, honestly, we're within just a couple of games of, you know, getting up towards mid-table. So, you know, we're going to have to get a win, and honestly, that Stad game we should have won. Uh, that was one we really needed. Uh, also, we've since we've uh, played ahead a little bit now, I did go back and look. The uh, club did not really hold it against us for not reaching the 10th round as they kept us at a 50%. We're at a 53%. Now, the club is not happy with the uh, the locker room atmosphere. Uh, we have a couple of people that are unhappy. Uh, leadership support. And, of course, we knew the leadership support was going to be an issue. Uh, I tried to move Zimmer. Uh, he got hurt uh, last match, I think. And then uh, nobody wanted to make an offer for him. He came back uh, during the break. And nobody made an offer for him. So, I mean, he's a really good player. He's on 138000 Originally, I was asking 15 million for him, uh, but then I dropped it down to I dropped it down to the seven million. I am pretty sure, ten and a half, ten and a half, and uh, no no takers, no takers. Now we have made a lot, done a lot of business. Uh, we've got two guys that we've uh, made bids on, and they've accepted. They will join us at the end of the season, assuming we're still around. And then uh, let's see. So where did we take over? We took over right before December 11th. So that's what we want to be looking at. So uh, Serge Ponset, we sold him. That was our goalkeeper, 195,000. Uh, um, Mignonet, uh, we sent him out on loan. He's a reserve keeper, probably fourth on the depth chart. Noah Fontenot, we had brought him back from loan. He was a guy that was making like 68000 and the loan was only paying us like an $11,000 a month with and not picking up any of his salary. So we sold him for $2 million. He was valued at 
a little more than two, but, um, you know, that's what was offered. And I said, yeah, you know what? We got to get that off the books. Uh, Michael Combs, I did not want to sell him. I had him listed for loan, but uh, they came in with an offer that will pay us up to $115,000, uh, which is double his value right now. Now, he is a four-star prospect, and he's young, um, 19, and he's valued at 61. So, you know, they came in right below his value, but with, you know, double double his value, basically. Uh our captain, the one I had appointed captain on my arrival, midfielder, uh, Joseph Dubois. Uh, we got rid of him for salary concerns. Plus, he was bitching about the finances, and I'm like, dude, I just got hired. Uh, and then uh, Antonin Dupont uh, has gone out on loan. Uh, he's a midfielder, 21 years old, not much in the way of anything, but, you know, he's, he's all right. But he's so far down our depth chart, he won't play for us currently. Now, on the flip side, uh, we brought in uh, Giraudet on a free. Uh, he's a left winger. He's not very good. He does have some physicals, and he does have middle-of-the-road numbers in technicals. Remember, that was something that we just had a major issue with, uh, was left back. The problem I'm running into, and the reason I was not more active, even though we're out of administration, and I'll show you in a minute, is we're so far over the wage budget, it's not even funny. And uh, we're capped out uh, at like $2,300 a month. And literally anybody that was, you know, you know when you, your scouts look at a player and they give you the rating, you know, and you, know, you don't want anybody that's like in the 40s and 30s and 20s. Those are the, you know, the 30s and 20s are the only guys that would take two to $3,000 a month. Um, anybody in the sixties and seventies was wanting 18 to 20,000 a month and we can't pay them that. So, you know, we're pretty screwed. Uh, Jonathan Ledoux came to us on a free. This was one uh, from Stabick. This is one that was done before my arrival. Uh, so he's a right and a left back. So I'm glad to get him. Uh, now he's making 27,000 a month. I'm not sure why they were able to pay him that much. But they did, and that's okay. <laughs> I guess it's okay. But yeah, I mean, they would, you know, my contracts would not let me do that. Uh, Felix Bertrand, uh, we brought him in on a free. He's a striker. Uh, not the fastest guy. And again, he's not very good, but he's got good finishing and good first touch. So, you know, maybe we can do something with him. He's probably not going to play a lot. I was looking for some depth. And is he, yeah, he doesn't even have potential. So that was kind of a waste of money. And Andy Nicholas on a free. Uh, again, uh, he's a right winger. Uh, he's got really good physicals, but he's more of a prospect. But honestly, at the level we're at and the point that we're at, we're, we're just looking for anybody. So we picked him up. He does have four-star potential. So we're hoping to get that value developed a little bit and maybe sell him down the road or, or develop him into a player. All right, uh, let's see, finances, let me show you that. So we've ticked upwards. Uh, we are 244000 to the good. We're still losing money, even, you know, you can see our budget, but we were at, what, 600 and something thousand dollars, so we've shaved about $200,000 off our payroll. Um, and I've adjusted the transfer budget all the way to zero uh, to get that as close as possible. Uh, we still have money in the scouting budget. We do have scouts out looking around. And remember, they restructured the loan. They took out a $46.5 million deal. And it's, <coughs> excuse me, $425,000 a month for a decade. So that's fabulous. If we take a look at the squad real quick and sort by salary, uh, you can see Zimmer's making $138,000. He's our best player. But I desperately wanted to cash in on him and get some money and get that off the books. But I didn't want to give him away. I mean, I think an English club would come in and pay $15 million for him, but nobody made an offer. Uh, Connor Burke, uh, we had him listed for loan, for transfer. Again, just trying to get that off the books, $64,000 a month. He's our only goal scorer, two goals in seven appearances since I called him back from loan. 
and then he got hurt and he's out three to five weeks twisted ankle uh so yeah we're we're i don't know ledoux is the guy we just brought in he got injured why is that uh there we go uh, he's out three to four days lacroix is suspended for the next match uh, Laporte should be back within a week. That's the keeper that we signed to be our starting keeper. So it'll be good to get him back. Probably the, not this game, but the next one. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, he's leaving, but he'll be able to play for us uh, in the meantime. And he'll probably see a little bit of action. Uh, let's see, listed him for loan, him for loan. Uh, Nasinski uh, is going on tra uh, transfer to Grenoble 38. But look at these ratings, man. These suck. But we have a lot of really poor players. These guys, uh, you know, I, I really don't even want them on the squad. But we need a, a lot of them we need for depth. So I'm going to play a few more matches. Uh, remember, these, you know, a lot of these matches were played before I got here. We didn't have any left backs at all. We only had one right back, so we needed depth there. I just couldn't find anybody, and I couldn't find anybody that we could pay any wages to, and we're capped out at our five loan players, so I couldn't do anything with that. And none of those loans could be canceled. I did look into that as well. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been interesting. So the board, while happy with me on the finance side, see, look at this. I mean, this guy wants nineteen to 28000 and you know what? Let's just go make an offer for him. Uh, no, I can't make, uh, yeah, compensation, zero. All right, make an offer. Uh, let's drop that to zero. And we'll make the offer. Just because I guarantee it's going to come back and it's going to tell me something else. Uh, let's see. Now, he only wants, what position does he play? He's a left winger. I, I kind of want to make a bid here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, if we go striker, he would be number four. And if we went left winger, and they say he's not good enough, but he's got a 87, 67 rating and would be a good signing. Go figure. So he's got some pace, jumping reach. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see anything. Um if I go there, all right, let's scout the player on the left wing, and we'll have that come back. Anyway, uh, Tebow should be back. Zimmer should be back. Laporte coming back. But we'll have to see what happens there. All right, let's get into it. Match preview. We are playing on the road against Le Mans FC. We are actually favored. Uh, we've done well. Uh, against them so let's go ahead i'm going to keep this tactic i have changed the uh, central center backs to central defenders on defend rather than ball playing defender but you know what i'm going to switch it back because that's what the tactic calls for so we're going to go there sweeper keeper with bertrand um I've only got four subs on the bench, so that's great. Uh, we'll, we'll put him on the bench. Uh, Bastian can go on the bench. And... He's got a 13 finishing. Let's put him on the bench. Just for shits and giggles, right? All right. Now, familiarity, we, we played the two... Uh, we played the two friendlies during the long break and uh, just training. So we've, we're actually getting comfortable with the tactic. So we'll go with that. Zimmer and Mulder up top. Ah, oh, we need some wins, man. We need some wins. Morale boost. First game back. Again, I don't think we're going to get much from these guys from, from this because they just don't have, uh, you know, there's no love in the locker room for me. And, you know, again, we knew coming in, um, coming in, we knew things were going to be difficult from the reputation standpoint. So not a lot we could do there.
crossed in. He's going to take a long shot. Uh, I was expecting him to take a long shot. Oh, good defense. Lumped out. Oh, look at Mulder's. Oh, and he didn't have anything on that. Uh, <laughs> that was brutally bad. I think that guy took a dive. That was a dive. There's no, I, He was between two guys, and I don't think they even touched him. Oh, man. That was a good penalty, I guess. Fourth goal of the season, and we are down 1-0. All right, I'm going to bump it up to attacking. Oh, I don't want to see that again. All right, over guard. Over to Jerusalem. He passed behind a guy. Flicked away. Let me double check this tactic. Um, we're going to go back. We'll leave that on. All right. So we're playing the offside trap, but we're playing with a, a deeper line. So, you know, they can't really get beat over the top. All right. Nice header out. Mulder's not 100%. I mean, he's he doesn't have good finishing. What I may do is... I want to look at him in a little more detail. Maybe maybe moving back to a number 10 and play a 4-4-1-1 like the, uh, the other team's playing. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get the ball there, Lucas. Uh, anytime, buddy. Oh, nice ball up to Juilliard. All right, he's across the mid-stripe. He brings it inside. Juliuson. He takes a shot. All right, that's pinged out, gives us a set-piece corner. Nice. That was a nice little shot by him. All right, bending in ball. Nah, you got to get there, fellas. All right, there's a nice header. Juilliard crosses it out into space. Nobody's there. Our defender looks like he just stopped for a snack. Come on, boys. Head it out. Oh, nice block by the back. Keeper went diving for air. All right, let's tell him to get creative. All right, so I need a little help from you guys. So if you know where in the staff settings to turn off your assistant manager for making any type of shouts, let me know because I've gone back in there and I've looked for it. Oh, God, Juliuson. He was wide open for a shot, and he tried to play it back. Yeah, so I and he's still taking shouts. I don't know why. So this is like the second club in a row. That's a poor header. Jesus. All right, Bertrand gets to it. Push forward. All right, nine to five. We're being outshot, out possessed. All right, so let's drop back to that. All right, Mulders. All right, you've got good finishing. You do. As does Zimmer. Okay. So they need to be shooting more. Juliuson probably needs to be shooting less. DeSousa. Yeah, so I've gotten rid of my two big central midfielders that could pass the ball really, really well. Now, see, he can't finish, so I think he's more of a mid. Um, 
I'm going to bring him on for Juliuson. Jesus is better. Uh, let's see. Lucas, defensive right, left, and center. See, Ritter was our left back, but I, he's more natural as a center back. So I think that's going to be good for us. Overguard. Overguard has pace. Marking, tackling. You know what? I am going to move him to a stopper. And we're going to move him to just a central defender. Make sure that's what I want. Play ahead of the defensive line? No, nah, I don't think that's what I want. I want... Cover. Cover's what I want. I want him up farther. All right. Um, yep, yeah, we'll go with that. We do have some yellow cards to address. Start the second half. All right, there's Matt or Matta. 6.8. Nice. Get creative. <clears throat> All right, uh, Legrand is a mid right. I really don't have anybody else mid left. Jean Marie Bailey. He can't cross, but he's got passing ability. I wonder. Hmm. Sousa. He can actually cross the ball. Let's move him. Let's move him there. Juilliard will move out to the right because he can play both sides. And then Legrand, we're going to bring in Jean-Marie Bailey. Because he has pretty good passing skills. Pretty happy with that. Frustrated, apprehensive, um, encourage. All right. Well, Juilliard got fired up. We haven't had a haven't had a highlight here in a while. All right. Theo Bastian. We'll put him in. One of our new guys. Dubois. Again, I'm so used to Halson in the red. And there's nothing. So, again, we end up in the second half, we end up with more shots, even though we didn't see any of them. More on target. Less chances. But we created three. We were losing all of these. Ugh. All right, well. Actually, you know what? I'm... Uh, I can't fault you. Let's 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 try to talk the guys up, right? I mean, I'm still relatively new here, but now we are down equal relegation. Stodd just won their second in a row. Damn, they beat the team in 12th position and 15th position. Wow. We are in deep shit. All right, well, we will be back for the next match here in just a second, guys. All right, I came back a little bit early. So, again, I just want you to see this. I mean, this guy, 30-year-old Polish center back, he's valued at 140000 They want 76000 for him, roughly, but he's going to want twenty to $27,000. Holy shit. I just can't afford any of that. So we're just going to, you know, we had to keep a low profile here through the transfer window.
All right. Well, a bunch of guys that we just scouted that were all shit. 22, 20, and 18 against these guys. We're slight underdogs. We are at home. All right. Um, 598. Jeez. Field Bastion, Nicholas. I mean, Mendez, right? He can't dribble, but he can finish. Nasinski. Hmm. I really, I mean, this guy just sucks. Simon. Simon's a mid left. Now he did play a seven point three, so you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a little bit of credit there. Maybe maybe he'll come back, <laughs> right? Uh, let's see, Laporte. All right, Laporte is back from his injury. Uh, this is our keeper that we signed on a free from Anderlecht. Assertive. Go out and make it count. All right. Push forward. All right, we're actually in red today. Maybe that'll bode well. We've got an early yellow card. Ledoux into the box. Legrand heads it on. There it is. Yes, Randy Mulders gets his first goal of the season. Mateo Legrand with the assist. All right, let's give him some praise off of the goal. And we have a 1-0 advantage. All right, Ledoux back into the box. All right, he hoofs it out. Controlled by Overguard. Laid back to Ritter. He plays it out wide. Nobody makes the run. Oh, there's an easy ball. Legrand. Is it there? Is it there? Yes, it's there. Virgil de Sousa. Second goal of the season. Legrand with the assist. And we're up 2 0, boys. Woo! More praise. Oh, they're fired up. One guy's overwhelmed. He goes, that's more praise than we've gotten in three years. Do, uh, oh, laid off. Laid off. There's a shot. Deflected. Legrand. He gets the goal this time. That's the third goal of the season. And we're up 3-0. No call for George. I'm thinking communication might be one of the things that we didn't like. <laughs> All right. Come on, boys. All right, stifling. Oh, shit. Okay, and offsides. Whew, we'll take that. All right, their goalkeeper's injured. Or he's playing injured. All right, quick one two pass. Legrand lays it off to Ledoux. Ledoux up towards the touchline. He crosses it right into his defender's legs. And they're on the counter. Oh, the tackle attempt. They haven't gotten very good at that. Oh, and they get one. Johan Mar Maraschino Cherry. Marinici, Marinici. His seventh goal of the season. All right, we want to... Uh, Demand more. Ooh, pressured. All right, seven to four on shots, four to two on target. All right, all right. You did do well. We're going to ask him to watch the bookings. Uh, we got a six, six, a six, five. All right, we're going to start the second half. 
we're, we're already balanced, so we don't want to go any, uh, you know, another direction. We've got 10,000 people in attendance. Oh, that was crap. All right, we're going to bump it up to attacking. Show some passion. All right, Lacroix, De Souza, Overguard, lumped ahead. Oh, nice hustle back. Who was that showing some hustle? De Souza, nice. All right, Laporte builds out of the back. Okay, that's not good. Over the middle. Oh, that is brutal shit. Concentrate, fellas. All right, I'm going to go back to balanced. Uh, let's make a sub. Ledoux's on a 6-4. Let's bring in El Amrani. Um... Lacroix is complacent. All right, we'll bring Juilliard in for him. Concentrate. All right, there's a cross on the corner. Laid back, Juilliard. Drives it inside. He takes a pot shot, goes high. Is that a cheerleader over there? Oh, okay, I don't know what the hell that was. All right. Oh, good pass over the top. Zimmer takes a shot. Come on, boys. All right, Juilliard. Plays it short. Touched in. Looks like it double bounced and ended up going off our guy. All righty, um, 73, Juliusen's complacent. Let's bring on Matt again. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Luke Molina, his second goal of the season. I don't even want to watch that. Are they going to score another one here? God, we blew a three. Nothing advantage. I feel like Leeds. They do that every once in a while. All right, he plays it out. Flicked on header. Lumped out. They get a flick on header. Why can't our players do that? Oh, man, that I thought that was going in. All right, we need to go back up to attacking. I should have done that five minutes ago. All right, L. M. Ronnie. There's a deep ball. Juilliard, he crosses it. Oh, my God, and our best player butchered the shot. How in the hell did he miss that? 
four clear cut chances. Aggressive. And you. You played a 6-6 six, six and a 6-5, but you know what? I'm going to go. Yeah, and you can stress too, buddy. You can stress. You had a chance to win the game, and you let your team down. Not just me. Not just me. Your team. All right. Um... Real quick, before we take off for this episode, let's take a look at the profile. So, I am, uh, what, one and a quarter stars now? So, we did get a reputation boost just by taking the job. In the club vision, not the vision, club performance, there we go. So, we're a C in vision, a D in pitch results. C plus in transfer market, C minus by the fans, a C in the tactic, and a D in the squad. Well, there's nothing I can do about that because we knew coming in that because the club was a bigger reputation than me, that was going to hurt for the first year. And it is. We're very poor. But, man. We've got eight players now that oppose me. Eleven players with no real opinion. And, you know, the draws are nice. But, you know, I mean, if we look at what they did before... I mean, they, they had long, you know, they had three losses in a row. They had a good run. Two draws in, what's that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two draws in seven. They actually won their last game. I got a loss, got a win. And we've been playing everybody tight. That's the... That's the thing I'm hanging my hat on, you know, that we just need to get the morale up a little bit to where they can play a little bit better. Because like this match, I mean, we had a 3 nothing advantage. We were not attacking. We were in, in balance. We should not have blown that. And it's just, oh, my God. Uh, oh, well. All right. Well, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Where do we come back at? Um, let's come back against 15th, 13th. Let's come back for Chamois and Nice. Uh, that'll give us one, you know, 13th position, one sixth position. They, you know, at least one might be winnable, right? And uh, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll probably come back just for the season finale. And we're going to have to give some thought. Let me know what you, I mean, we, we kind of knew what we were getting into. Now, the good news is we do have a two-year deal. But do we consider resigning at the end of the season? Or sooner if things continue to go south? We got the reputation boost. We got them out of administration. We showed we could handle the finances, although the interview questions probably won't reflect that. It'll probably be my fault they're in administration when it was that way years before I even got to the club. But, uh, yeah, so we'll come back here for uh, the middle of March uh, for two more matches. Let me know what you guys are thinking, and I appreciate you checking it out. We'll talk to you later. Boy, I'm so disappointed right now. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.